Welcome to the NBA desktop. Yes, the Rockets beat the shockingly competent and tough and playing with house money Oklahoma City Thunder on Wednesday night. The thing I really want to talk about is Steve Javi. Steve Javi, as we all know, is a fucking shill. If Scott Foster or any one of our other fine referees here in the NBA stabbed someone in the fucking chest on court, Steve Javi would come on. They'd be, Steve Javi, what do you think of this? Uh, yeah, doors clearly, that's forward motion from Mike D'Antoni coming towards the ref. And he had the switchblade out. He had to plunge it uh, deep into his chest. Anything the refs say, Steve Javi will say, that's right. And if you get him before the call is actually made, it's great because what he'll say is, well, technical foul, you know, if you look at the definition of a technical foul is, you know, when uh, basketball first started a sport, then the sport evolved to the, oh, okay, we got to go back and let's see what the call is. He just kills time. He doesn't want to say what it is. So Doris does something smart here and puts him on the spot. Steve Javi, take us away. Because there are pressure situations for official Steve. Is that a foul? Heck, Doris, yes, there is a pressure pressure situation. Uh, yeah, it's a big, it's a lot of pressure, Doris. Uh, was that the question you asked me? No, but I'm just going to say that because I'm trying to kill time until the refs make a call that I can agree with. I think it's an excellent call. He would agree with anything they do. I'm sick of Steve Javi. Oh, the last air puncher. There's a kind of technical foul. It's very noticeable right now in these bubble playoffs. It's called the air punch. This is horrendous. What if I look at the ref and I go like this? Or like fucking, I do like one of these, like, and then I drop on my back. What about that? Is that a tech? And Long ago, the four divisions lived together in harmony. Then, everything changed when the Ref Nation attacked. A hundred years passed and the NBA discovered a resurgence, led by an air puncher named Jay. And although his air punching skills are great, he has a lot to learn before he's ready to save anyone. But I believe Jay can save the league. Family album. Revisionist history. Oh, here is Stephen A. Smith. Because when you're talking about Donovan Mitchell, when was he drafted? Number 13. Who had a chance to get him, Jalen? <laughs> Are you mad? Nick. Dup, dup, Nick. Let me just say this. Should they have taken him? Yes, of course. But guess what? 12 other fucking teams should have taken him too. Let's look at this other video. This is from 2017 after the draft. The next three picks. Dennis Smith Jr. Dennis Smith Jr. We have him now. He is fucking trash. He is toxic waste. You actually have to call like a government agency to get rid of him. A fucking train, lead line train has to come and drive him to the mountains and they have to put him in a vault two miles underground. That's fucking Dennis Smith Jr. Who else? After him, Zach Collins. Out of I like Zach Collins. Zach Collins is good. He's injured a lot, but they didn't need another big guy. They need guards. So whatever. Next. Malik Monk. Ever heard of that dude? Malik Monk, bad. Not good. Phil wants us to believe that Phil has scouted some dude from France. Phil also did not scout the dude from France. Phil probably watched two videos, smoked a fucking bong, and went to sleep. Okay? But I think this is unfair criticism. Fave blocks. Taco J. Oh, shit. Jason Tatum's custom Jordans feature his nickname, which is Taco J. And then it's got a little angry taco. It's got good reason to be angry, and we'll talk about that later. These look like you pull up at a schoolyard and you're trying to lure kids into your car shoes. This is how you know Jordan Brand has given up. They don't care anymore. Look at the yellow ones with the like lettuce tongue. This looks more like a legitimate taco than the way Jason Tatum likes to have his tacos. And to discuss that particular topic, let's go to our NBA desktop focus group. Welcome to the NBA desktop focus group. The subject of the day today is whether Jason Tatum's tacos are in fact tacos. Joining us today is a panel of experts. <laughs> Mose Bergman, he's a five-year taco industry vet. Uh, we've got Jackson Safon, a very biased Celtics fan. Then we have Jason Gallagher, who is half Salvadorian. His parents met at a TGI Fridays. Jomi Adinaran lived in LA and San Diego uh, for basically his whole life. Shea Serrano is 
Mexican. Paolo Ugetti is El Salvadoran. And then we have Sasha Ashal, an 18 year St. Louis public school taco lunch expert. Um, actually went people, to private school. I don't want never to mind. represent myself. <laughs> <laughs> Are these tacos yes or no? Mose Bergman, what do you say? I think they're tacos. I think my main issue with what I'm looking at here is that he says people call him Taco J. And looking at these, that just does, <laughs> like doesn't feel right. Jason Gallagher, you can't wait to talk about your red state taco uh, <laughs> focus. What I'm getting at is that it appears to just be a, a taco with an uh, absurd <laughs> amount of cheese. And, and this country is divided enough, <laughs> I gotta say. Jason is doing an all taco lives matter thing, and I'm not with it. I'm not here for that. Shay, uh, what do you think? Technically, these are tacos. All that you need for tacos is a tortilla with the stuff in or around it. That's all that you need. What a person puts on their plate is between that person and God. And I will say that there will never, ever be a picture of tacos that everybody is like, those tacos look delicious. There's not going to be a way to appease everybody. Every picture, somebody will say this fucking sucks and somebody else will say this taco looks fucking outstanding. You can call it whatever you want, but I'm not going to personally trust a taco that can stand on its own. If it's vertical, <laughs> if it's, I'm not. Also, these tacos, these Jason Tatum tacos definitely voted for a border wall. I just want to get that out of the Sasha, what do you think? These are the tacos you were familiar with. Is that the case? V and Jason Tatum both went to private school in St. Louis. So we both have had these tacos our whole lives. And to us, this is tacos. I just want to say that, not to me now, I live in LA now, I know the difference, but I'm just want to say that in St. Louis, this is what you expected. Jackson, <laughs> I can't wait to hear what you're going to say. I have no idea what side of this debate you're going to come down on. I think that it's not personally what I would want if I was ordering tacos, but we're taco shaming him for no reason, no, as if he's not eating a taco. Those are tacos. Just because they're not tacos that you like doesn't mean they're not tacos. Tell him, Jackson, tell him. It's not tacos. I think Paolo, is, he touched on it. There are tacos, and then there's tacos. With a, with a, with a yeah. tiny little H in there. <laughs> these, are, these are not those, these are tacos. Well, thank you all for uh, weighing in on this taco debate. I think that uh, we're divided much like the country. And I think we'll probably continue to be divided until we can learn to uh, respect each other's point of view about food and other stuff. Goodbye. Here's Fred Van Vliet's child. I think it's beautiful. Yay. Wonderful. Fred Van Vliet, I mean, it's reunited with his family. He's going to get to spend a lot of time with them soon once the Celtics finish this up. I hate to say it. Okay, so one of the fouls <laughs> against the Raptors is this honestly very, very effective flop. Bobby DeFranzo says it's stuff like that that is ruining the game for me. <laughs> Let him flop! First of all, the game has changed in myriad ways since the Stone Age style of play in the 90s when guys just fucking bashed each other over the head with their forearms as guys were going to the lane. It's a more artful game. It's an expressive game now where players can use the space to show all the skills and creativity they have. And part of that creativity is the ability to act, to dance to bring the je ne sais quoi of life and imbue their bodies with it and express it by acting as if they have been grievously injured. I think it was Nietzsche who once said, a story isn't a story unless it's about death. And that's what this is about. So most improved player award went to Brandon Ingram. Here is Brandon Ingram, high as fuck on TNT with the inside the NBA crew. Look. <laughs> Do we think that he is high or does his face just look like this? Yeah. They... Also, you think that Charles, out of everybody, would be the guy to be like, are you blazed right now? Well, let's look at the evidence. So here is Brandon Ingram eating enough Popeyes for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fucking people. Does this look like evidence of the munchies? Yes. Also, like the psychedelic projection on the wall that is coming from some weird fixture also would seem to suggest that my guy is baked. But like, we wanted him to gain weight, right? He came in looking like a string. He's doing it. I support it. My head grew heavy and my side grew dim. I had to stop for the night. Do, 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 do. Welcome to the Hotel California. Do, 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 do.